Hi, I'm Chip, and today's video is going to be about a failed washing machine repair. I couldn't fix it, it was too far gone. But it's an interesting uh, video because it shows a method that I had to use to extract a stuck agitator. Uh, that was a failure too, but I learned lessons from doing stuff like this, and I hope you will too. So let's get to it. So we have a machine here that I, I picked up. I sold a lady machine, and I picked this one up. She said it wasn't spinning her clothes out. She she didn't want to fool with it. She wanted another one, so I picked it up. I figure I can fix it. And oh yeah, need some shocks. Something's not right. Is that the bearings? Oh, that agitator sitting awful high. That agitator is loose. Loose. I've already taken the screws off the back. Let me see if I can figure out what's going on here. What? tub is completely loose. Let's see what's going on here. I bet you that tub has rusted completely through. Seven sixteenths. <clears throat> Somebody put the quietus on that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get that out of here. Put a few threads on it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Acid in. This is a trick I learned from Ben's appliance and, and junk. Put a little citric acid down in there. That ought to be enough. Get this in my toolbox. I'm gonna set it over here. Now, let's pour the water in it. Got a mosquito larvae swimming pool here. Green. Plant it. Let's see what that does. There's something to stir it with. So it's the next day, and that acid wash didn't, didn't loosen that agitator. But I've got another agitator right here that I will substitute for that one. I'm going to have to cut this one off. I'm going to use this whiz wheel. I'll cut the top of it off where I can work down in there, maybe with a chisel or something. A manna is out here acting like a badass. Pretty bird. All right, you go along, go eat you some lizards. You want to square off at me? Huh? I'm bigger than you. That's just tail feathers. This here is muscle. That's tail feathers. <laughs> I don't have any spurs though. Anyway, let's get back to it here.
I have to pull this thing like a wisdom tooth. What I want to prevent is hammering too much on that shaft. Unlike the, the old style machines, these machines have plastic planetary gears in them. And that shaft, if you hammer on it or pull on it, put downward pressure on it, it will uh, bust a, a gear case, which is plastic. And you've ruined the machine. This is a lot of sugar for a dime, but I want to see what's going on underneath that agitator. Always told me I could tear up a ball peen hammer. Break it away from that shaft. What do you think? I can see the shaft. One chip zero. the gearbox all right there's no fixing this one 
fail. That's a shame. I tell you what, I have never seen this, but this one is a failure. So I guess I'll scrap out the parts. Good, good motherboard, good lid lock, good water valve, good water pump. Suspension rods shot. And a good tub. I sell these tubs to people that make fire pits. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go up on my price. They just they they get them too often. I sell them for 15 bucks, and I can't keep them. So the supply beats the demand. That's a shame. I wanted to fix that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Yeah, remember that thumbs up button there? Why don't you smash that for me? It makes me smile.